Hey, we're in my garage and uh, I sort of had an impulse buy, but uh, for this planter project, I needed to get a specific tool that could cut a piece of wood that is fairly wide. And so I went to the Facebook marketplace and found myself this tool. And I got a hell of a deal on it. And uh, this is gonna be this, the new addition to creating all these awesome projects. So let me uh, show you what it does. All right, so this is the Craftsman Radio Arm Saw. It provides a lot of things that a regular top saw can't. Um, and uh, it's got a lot of bells and whistles on it that I still have to explore. Um, but it can do a lot of different things and I'm very excited with the purchase. And uh, I got it for 50 bucks, which is insane. And uh, everything works on it. And oh, I can't wait to start cutting with this thing. The knob there. So it's on this giant rail right here. So you can put very wide board and make a, a, a nice clean cut. It also goes up and down with this knob right here, which I'm sure there's a locking mechanism somewhere. But yeah, now this is really cool. Let's see what I can find. How do you lock that back part? Yeah, I'm just gonna have to play with it for a bit figure out how it works. I just got it yesterday and uh, I don't know everything. I'll have to look at all these little icons, but uh, it's a pretty neat saw and I, it's, it's gonna make this project go so much better. So. What I'm gonna do is because I just bought this and I haven't had time to clean it or anything, I'm gonna use a WD-40 and grease all the working mechanisms in here so that everything runs smooth Looks like there's some rust going on right here, so I'll be hitting it with this and that should uh, improve it quite a bit. WD-40. This thing is magic. So. My hand is broken. It's nice and smooth. Cool. Plug it in and give it a shot. Shit's off. That's locked. That's one thing I didn't test. It's pretty stiff. That says lock. Unlock.
There we go. Hit the right spot. Just work it. Spray it in there some more. Locks at 45. Locks at zero. Locks at the other 45. Looks like you can go all the way up to... Oh, no, nope, that's about it. About 50 degrees. Woo! That will go all the way to 90. That's crazy. This is gonna be a fun tool. Giving it a wipe down. Rails are really dirty. Great. Let's fire this thing up and uh, do some test cuts. Okay, safety glasses. Cool. Now that everything's been clean, greased, and ready to go, let me uh, show you how the different mechanisms work, because it's pretty neat. Okay, so up here, we got a lever that you pull towards the, the user, which releases the mechanism to freely turn on that pivot back there. When you let it go, it will still rotate, but it'll lock into the position. Don't turn the machine on. And then to lock it even more, push that all the way back. This is really neat because there's a rotation right here. So you can unlock, the, unlock this arm right here. And then pull up on this lever, which allows the whole thing to pivot and it'll lock in the 90 degree position. So you can even cut big sheets with this and use this as a, like a table saw with a blade on the top, which is neat. Right here is the lock for the, the rails. You got about, I don't know, 17 inches, that's what it looks like it says of motion, which is incredible. And then you also have this locking mechanism here with this locking pin, which allows you to rotate or pitch your blade at whatever angle you want. So you can get some crazy stuff going on all in one swoop. And then this whole contraption here goes up and down with this crank at the bottom here. So you can get your cut at the perfect depth for whatever you're cutting. 
This still is pretty incredible, guys. I am happy with the purchase, especially for it being 50 bucks. Um, it's gonna make a huge difference in this tiny little workspace of mine. And I'm gonna have to figure out a way to position it in this garage. I'll probably have to design the layout for the, and uh, cabinetry and everything for this garage to make it, to maximize the, the work capability of this tiny space here. And of course, that's where I do my laundry too. So I'm gonna have to create like a little wall in between that. But you know, it's, it's a progression. And one other cool aspect of this thing, because it rotates, I might be able to just make like a, a long workbench along the wall and just stow this away and be able to use this workspace right here. It's neat. Man, I almost bought a miter saw, like a chop saw style, and that would have been fixed in its own place and not be able to stow it away. So this is incredible. I'm very happy. <laughs> Can't wait to start making some awesome projects. And I'm glad you guys get to see the progression of my little workspace. And uh, I hope you guys keep watching.